Yo, what's going on? Good afternoon, folks. Xander J. Hobson here, stand-up comedian, and entertainer, director, and producer of boxing documentaries and internet troll to those who need internet trolling. It's another episode of The Devil's Advocate, brought to you by the Brilliant Artist Movement. So do me a favor. Like this video. Share it. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs down. And leave a comment in the comment section and it could be something nice or it could be something nasty. But if you say something nasty, that's okay. I got something for your ass. And if you're one of these kind who like to block the reply button, I'm going to still find you. I'm going to get you. So anyway, this is just a quick video because I've been loosely listening to Chaz, the GOAT, and Septia G go back and forth. And, uh, I don't even know what's wrong with Taz. Taz usually bring a lot of fire to the conversation. Maybe it's because Cynthia G is his wife's friend, but I'm trying to figure out why Taz playing nice with this sister. Now I'm not mad that Cynthia G outmaneuvered Taz, and I'm not mad that Cynthia G ran roughshod over Taz. That just told me something about Taz. But let me tell you something, something. Because I ain't even going to lie. You about piss me off talking all that bullshit about black men. The problem I have with you, Cynthia, although you have a right not to like the social conditions that we as African Americans are in, Cynthia, you act like you don't know that the white man had his foot on the black man's neck ever since we came out of Africa and you acting like the white man ain't come and have his way with black women and that y'all have been his mistress and despite how much he might hate you as his mistress he despises us the black man because we are his adversary and he has had an unfair advantage over us but even this is the real this is the gist of my argument Cynthia even though the white man might have despised y'all, he was still fucking you. And you tend to treat people that you fuck a lot better than people that you want to fuck up. The black man and the white man have always been adversaries. And they've always, always had the upper hand on us as black men. But you black sisters out there, Cynthia G, that talk like you talk. You always been the white man's side bitch. And that's why y'all been able to make it. And that's why the black man has always been at an unfair advantage. So you think about that, Cynthia. The next time you talk all that slick shit about black men. I'm done with it. Bam.